Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on survival multiplayer with Dagoin. So if you watched last episode, you'll know that at the end of the episode we managed to buy this new plot of land and I went around with the combine and just harvested a few of the wild oats that were dotted about. Obviously we didn't get a lot of uh, crop out of it, we got just uh, under, just over 1200 litres, 1000 litres, so um, yeah, it's uh, okay I suppose, but nothing nothing special, we might get a thousand pounds for it or something like that. Um, so yeah, a bit of extra money, but just thought I'd do it just to um, boost the income slightly. <laughs> it's free money, so no harm in doing it. it doesn't matter spending it five or ten minutes just going around with the combine. But anyway, yeah, that's done now. So I part the combine up, and the next job for that new area will be to mow the grass. I assume. I think that's what Dagwin was planning for today. Uh, so I'll get the mower, which is sandwiched behind the baler. So I'll have to move the bait out of the way first and then I'll get the mower. Then we'll get the grass mode, probably the silage again. It's the most profitable type of grass product. So that can go and put the baler here, this side, so because we'll need the rake as well. We'll need the, 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 um, the mower and the rake out and the baler. So the baler can go there. I mean, we can get the rake out as well. Here's the mower, get that on. And start mowing this grass. So yeah, it's uh, I don't know how much grass we'll get out of it. Not, not it's not gonna be great because there's obviously no fertilizer or anything on it, but just like the oats, it's just free money really. Might as well do it. Nothing to lose, it's not gonna cost us anything apart from a bit of fuel, so and time obviously. But the alternative is just to cultivate it in, which is a bit of a shame. So we'll mow it. It's actually quite a big area. Don't know whether we're going to do the whole area. Obviously, we've got this tree island in the middle of it. So, um, but we don't own all of the island. So we have got to be careful. We can't go all the way. Um, not quite sure where the exact boundary is. We'll find out. Although it does seem to let you mow further than it lets you cultivate and, and bale and stuff. I don't know quite why that is. This odd. I haven't actually uh, combined all the oats up at this end, so um, I'm not sure whether we own that much. I'll just have a quick look on the map, I think. That'll be the sensible thing to do. Right, where are we? I'm currently there. Oh, I can go quite a bit further then. There's actually quite a few oats I didn't get, um, but I uh, probably won't bother with that now. Um, So yeah, we can go quite a bit further. I'll go I'll go around further. Dagwin's already said the raking. Yeah, it's a shame about these oats, I didn't realise they were all in our land as well. Never mind. Wouldn't have been too much. Right, are we at the boundary yet? Mm, not quite. It's quite a big area, this. I think we'll just cast across here. I don't want to go out of the boundary because I'll just leave a mess of grass that we can't collect, so... We'll just stay here. I can always extend it further. Dagway might go and find the boundary and got a knife there or something, I don't know, but... I'll just go around the island here. I think the other side, this side here, I have actually combined the oats as far as the boundary, pretty much. Oh look, it's raining for a change. That's unusual on this map. <laughs> yeah. Luckily we're not harvesting anything today, so that's fine. It's not really going to affect us, but it's just annoying. The thunder is very loud. I really should try and reduce the volume of the thunder. So yeah, I think this is about on the boundary here where I am now, I think. More or less. I'm within it, so that's fine. Yes, yeah, so I want to mow as much as I can, obviously within our boundary, but don't want to go outside of it. It doesn't matter too much if I don't get all of it. Ah, oh, it looks like Dagwin is bringing the combine while it's raining to to harvest those oats. 
does reduce the yield if you have it in the rain, but it's such a small amount, it's not going to make much difference. I wouldn't want to be harvesting a full big field in the rain though, because that would quite significantly reduce the income. So all these trees are ours as well, which we can be cutting down at some point. I think the focus today will be on creating a field. So yeah, I think I'll, what I'll do, I'll, I'll time up the rest of this mowing. It's going to take me quite a while to go around and get it all mowed. So, see you again when the mowing beats. almost complete so uh, it's taking a bit of time it's a lot of grass to bail with our tiny baler we're going to be there a while it's going to be a lot of bales this because they're only really small bales are like really two and a half thousand litres i think in a bale it's really small so we won't bother um mowing that bit it's just no point we've already got enough to do <laughs> there's, no, there's no point mowing all this as well so I don't think it's been that long since we made that anyway. It was only last episode or two episodes ago I think we did that, so yeah, don't want to be doing any more mowing today. So this can go back in the shed and then I'll get the baler on. And we are going to be baling for a while. <laughs> Didn't realise just how much the world I suppose. I knew it was a big area, but it's that with this size of baler it's gonna take a long time. Definitely, so um yeah. <laughs> a lot of grass work today. We really do need a bigger baler now, but um, as you can see from the money, 270 pounds is not going to buy the lot. Unfortunately, it's uh, yeah. Hmm. Going to have to be saving again. This is the problem. Everything is quite expensive, so we need to save up a lot of money before we can actually buy anything. This baler looks quite new. Not sure if we'll even be able to finish all this today. It's, it is a lot of bailing. Don't know whether I want to spend the entire episode bailing now. And obviously, because there's a lot of small bale, that means a lot of bale wrapping to do as well. Which I'm sure Dagoin will start once he's finished the raking, which he's still got quite a lot of that to do as well. So, this is getting three and a half thousand litres of bale, but they're filling up so quickly. I'm amazed actually there's as much as this because it's not even fertilised, this is just this is raw grass, there's no um, 
and it's not had any work done to it at all, just as it comes. So even with that, it's still getting quite a lot of bales out of it. would be really nice to be able to get a bigger baler or even one that wraps as well, a bale and wrapper at the same time. I think they are about 100,000 and even just for a big decent sized baler it's like 50,000, 50, 50 to 70,000 I think they are. We go. But it's a lot. There might be a mod one actually, there's, I know there's a mod square baler which is only 12,000 which is quite good but then of course we wouldn't be able to wrap the bales with our wrapper, we'd have to get another wrapper. So although the baler itself would be cheap, it would it would mean buying another wrapper as well, so it's not as cheap as it looks. If we stuck with a, a round baler, we could still keep our wrapper if we didn't have one that also wraps as well. So yeah, I'm not, not quite sure. It's, uh, yeah, the, the money is, is a bit of an issue at the moment. We're just going to have to continue with what we've got. And, uh, hopefully it won't take too long, but it, yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's most of the episode, if not more than this episode. So I'll continue with this on time, I think. I'm sure you don't want to see all the bailing in real time. And I'll speak to you again when I've got a bit more done. We've just swapped uh, jobs over, Dagwin's taken over on the baler, but we've been having a bit of a discussion and because um, this is taking a long time and these bales are tiny, it would save a lot of time if we could afford to buy a combined baler wrapper type setup, which would do bigger bales and it would wrap them all in one go rather than to do two separate jobs. Um, it's £84,500, so almost 85000 Obviously we've only got 250 in the bank. But we do have a lot of silage bales down at the sell point, which are ready to sell. Um, the best price is in January, December, January, which is currently October, but it's not significantly higher than what it is now. At the moment, the price is 310. It says that in December, January time, it'll be 345 for a thousand litres. So it's not a massive difference, really. It is already on the increase. It's, it's not far off the maximum now. So we're just debating whether we should sell the silage bales today and see if we can get to 85,000 to buy this baler. We obviously would be able to sell our current baler and wrapper as well. So even if we didn't get to 85 from the silage, we'd probably still get another, um, what would it be, 
fifteen thousand maybe for for this piece of equipment, maybe even twenty thousand. I'm not sure what they're exactly worth used, but we will get something for them anyway. Ah. So that going just in the calculation, he thinks we'll get forty three, four hundred. So um, mm, quite a long way off. Probably wouldn't be able to afford it. Yeah, no, no, no. So that's a shame. So it was a thought, but I don't think we're going to be able to do it yet. So um, no, it looks like we're stuck with this current setup at the moment, possibly for today. Yeah, it's a shame. We really do need some money. Just <laughs> 250 in the bank. It's really not good. One day we will be able to get this job done a lot faster. But at the moment we've just got to make do what we've got. And it is taking, it's going to be all left. Well, I don't think we'll finish it today. I don't know. There's a lot to do. We might finish it. See how it feels. But yeah, it'd be nice to get this job done quicker in the future. Because this is slow. <laughs> it's really slow. And I'm sure it's not the most exciting thing to watch as well. Watching the bale wrapping and failing. It's alright for a bit, but the whole episode of it is probably a bit too much. So it will be nice if we can afford a, a big setup. I think I'll just continue doing this then. We'll go on back onto time lapse again and we'll continue wrapping these side belts. I think we might be on the final bail at last. <laughs> That's taken a while. But we've got there in the end. I think all the bales are wrapped now. I know Stagling's just so loading a trailer. Soon we're not going to get all these moved today, but I think we've done very well so we can get them all bailed and wrapped. We've sort of based on the whole thing. The mode, we've bailed it, we've raped it as well, and we've wrapped them. So that's a pretty good achievement in one day, really considering the size of the area this is and the small equipment we're using. There is a small bit of bailing there that's been missed. It's 
one row there and a few little bits but it's not a lot really but yeah that's uh more than i was sort of thinking we might not even get it finished today so that's that's quite good i think we've got more wraps as far as i can tell so i'm happy with that we're certainly going to get some decent money when we come to salt them that's for sure where did this go I think it was in the shed, it must have been out here somewhere. There we go. I would like to just finish that bailing off because it's, I know it's going to annoy a few people and it will also annoy me a bit, so it would be good to get the bailing um, finish. Tag went obviously didn't see that bit. I will just quickly do it, because otherwise it will probably get forgotten about. I don't know whether we'll get a full bailout, but the bailer is empty at the moment. I suppose if we're changing the bailer, there's no point doing it though, is there? Because um, I, may, oh, I probably won't bother because I know it's annoying, but if we're going to sell the bailer and this doesn't fill the bailer, which if we don't get a full bailout, it's just going to get lost anyway, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably leave it for now. I know it is annoying leaving bits, but as the bailer is totally empty, we're probably not going to get a bail out of that. If we do, like I say, if we sell the bailer, we're going to lose it anyway, so... Yeah. I'm sure you can understand my thinking there. So instead, yeah, I'll, I'll get the bell fork on. And we'll just load a few bells onto the trailer. The is using the log trailer. Because I think the other flatbed we use, it's got some pallets on it at the moment, I believe. I'm not sure where it is. No, there it is. Yeah, yeah, there's uh, left pallets on it at the moment. So we can't use that. Use the one that Dagger is loading at the moment. It's not ideal with those uh, bars on it, but it'll do the job. So this is the actual bale fork I'm using. It's actually harder to use than the, the um, pallet fork. It's narrower. You can only really get one bale on at a time. Dagger is sucking them, well, he's throwing bells as well. <laughs> Stuck in this way around again, which means you can't really get as many on, so not as easily. I always prefer to start them on their ends like this, as we did last time, because it's uh, more efficient, I feel. I think Dagger prefers to stack them the other way around. So maybe we'll get a full trail load loaded today, we'll see. I'll time lapse this and uh, see how we get on with this. Certainly wouldn't win any any awards for quality of bell second there, but it's uh, at least it's loaded sort of. <laughs> got all the bells on, well, got a good load of bells on the trailer anyway. Um, certainly not easy stocking with these because these are have got collisions on them these poles, so it's uh, not easy at all to stack them on the trailer like that. But we've got quite a good load on there, um, so we'll probably continue this next time Dagger is finished. So um, yeah, there's not much more we can do today. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode, certainly got a lot more done than I was expecting. Um, and we'll continue again in the next one. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time.